Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Tate. I'm a faculty member over in the School of Nursing and I'm making this video just to talk a little bit about my experience in the textbook affordability symposium. So first, why was I interested in being a part of the symposium? Well, in the School of Nursing, I teach a course called Nursing 200. It's a theory course and it basically is an introductory course for the students. We talk about a lot of different things that the students need to know in order to be prepared for the next two and a half years in the program. One of the problems with this course is it's kind of a hodgepodge. So we've really been struggling with finding a textbook that covers all of the material that we cover in the course. So last year we started kind of reviewing other textbooks to see if there was a better one out there. And we found that there really wasn't. Um, we could maybe have the students purchase two separate textbooks to kind of cover all the material, but we really didn't want to have students go out and have to purchase two textbooks that they were only going to use some of the material from. So instead, I started supplementing a lot of the chapters and the lessons with other materials that I was finding online. So in an email, I saw that the Center for Faculty Excellence was holding sessions talking about textbook affordability options. So I did go to one of those sessions and started learning that there are different types of affordability as far as textbooks that are out there on the market. So that kind of prompted me to take the symposium. During the symposium, I learned that while there are textbooks that are made specifically to be free to students, our library also has a lot of really great other resources that make everyday textbooks, some of the textbooks we're actually already using in courses, free to students. So during the symposium, I was able to work with the librarian who started finding me free options for my students. Um, I'm still finding that there's not one area that I can go to that finds everything that I need for my course, but it's nice that as I'm supplementing, I can start supplementing with other free resources instead of telling my students to go out and purchase a brand new textbook. For anybody who's interested in getting started with affordability and looking at different options, I would encourage you just to reach out to one of the librarians or Mandy, who's in charge of the affordability um, textbook symposium and just kind of seeing what things we already have. So moving on from my Nursing 200 course, I also teach psych mental health and I sent our librarian a copy of my syllabi. She responded within a few days and I actually found out that the textbook we're currently using, there's a version, the last version of the textbook is actually available on, it is actually available online for free. So again, my students don't have to go out and purchase the newer version. They have access to a free book. One of the things that this has really helped with is within the School of Nursing, it's really, really important that students do read the textbook prior to coming to class. Because when they come to class, we then build on all of the information they read. But a lot of our students were complaining that they did not have access to the textbook because of the cost. They couldn't afford it. And so now that I have access to free versions or free materials online, um, that's kind of one excuse that the students can't use anymore. So I've actually really enjoyed this experience of just learning more about what's out there, what's available, and how it can benefit my students. 